Hey everybody, it's me, Fleming Kong. Welcome back to 13 Sentinels. Last time we did what? We, uh. We did some of Juro Karabe's route and we got locked out of it. I think we also may have finished Tomi's route last episode. I don't really remember what. I, if that was either two episodes ago or last episode, I don't know. Anyway, it's time to do our boy Miura. Kind of sound weird the way I said it, but whatever. I don't know how far we're gonna go into his story. I kind of just want to get far enough so that we can unlock um, Joe Karabe's route, which may only be, I may only take one or two. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. But, uh, yeah. This place isn't too crowded. It gives me room to hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. We are now in uh, Nothing's changed today either. the future? Our mother's terrible at sewing. They came ashore during the air raid. They're enormous. Must be over 30 meters tall. Instead of wheels, they move on long leg like appendages. Quite a terrifying sight. Like something out of hell. I think we can, yeah, we can look at this building here. Anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. Sentinel. Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert, but I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. So we know that he meets Minami. Before possess an ability like that? Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. But on that day, at that moment, that fantasy became a reality. Remember that day. So this is gonna be a flashback, so we're gonna be going back to 1940s? Yep. So this is kind of showing the process of how Mira got here, I think. All out of flying bombs. Electromagnetic rounds are offline. Outputs drop by 50% in both electromagnetic battering rams. Hmm. And there's Dimos. Mira's story is kind of interesting because we know that there's this robot BJ who's been called Mira by a few different people. We don't really know how they're connected just yet, but they uh, seem to have some sort of connection. Which we will be probably exploring more in this. But yeah, you'll see pretty much the Sentinel warped over here when he was in trouble fighting the Dimos in the 1940s. Which we can pretty much assume takes place after he meets Natsuno in the 1940s. Now the thing is... Um, we know that Natsuno is also in... Side an Exosol that looks just like this one. Surrounded by those new American weapons, and no, it can't be American city. I've heard about major U.S. cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my Sentinel too. Yeah, Mira has no clue what's going on. Consciousness brought me to the poor guy. Sentinel just reached its operating limit. The not 
very much time could have passed. Believe it or not, Mira, this actually is but this view Japan. Quote unquote. My homeland. Somehow I ended up on US soil. About that. If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. But I'm not going down without a fight. I'll face the enemy, even without my sentinel. Uh, the sentinel. This is bad. The sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. Do, 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 do. The enemy cannot get their hands on the sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. So now what do we what do? We do? Can't, can't really move it. Now, let alone initiate self-destruct. I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. Yeah, your I little sister at the drop of seems to have more going I on than be smart right now. you would believe. For the, sentinel to be up and running. the fact that they were in the year 2100, talking about loops and stuff with now Goto of plan, all people. I better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. Yeah, Mira, Mira really has no clue what's going on. But something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. Ashitaba Printing, Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? It is your hometown. You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall. Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. I have no idea what they're talking huh, about. Sega. But their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? I watch everything he's in. Female students. Though that's quite a bit of exposed leg. It almost seems like a different dialect, but it's definitely Japanese. Hmm. I guess we're supposed to go to the right. So many cars. Where in the world am I? This isn't America. It looks like Japan, but everything seems off. This is all just a terrible dream. Right? Poor Miura. Right. Most other people, it's when they time traveled, traveled with people who could explain it to them. That's no one could explain it to him. To be we knew what the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel Sync test. Hmm. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you looking at? This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. Oh. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? It looks like I've finally gone crazy. You want to see crazy? <laughs> hey, stop! Ow. Oh. Where am I? What is I this see. Room? Oh, hold on. I think I remember. <coughs> Some guy with a <coughs> hit me with his bag. <coughs> This doesn't look like a detention facility. Either I'm still seeing things. Sorry. Or someone removed me from the about that. Oh my gosh. Me to some kind of I don't know why I sneeze so often. I tell you guys, it's not just during my videos that this happens all the time. It's just my everyday life. All right, let's keep. Let's figure out what we're doing here. Um. It's a calendar. 
1985? It's all in my head. It's just an illusion. Are you sure about that? A box-shaped technicolor projection device. The Sentinel has its own spatial projector as well. But that's highly hmm. confidential military technology. Uh, hmm. It's about baseball. I'm not in a military base, am I? Yeah, I, I highly doubt it. Math. Modern Japanese. Lots of textbooks lined up here. Japanese history. So I really am still in Japan then. Hmm. Oh, they can examine this as well. Phonograph records. Takatoshi san used to let me listen to his. Why are there so many records here? There are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas. This can't be right. 1945, the year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Uh oh. Surrender? We lost the war? 1945, that's this year. Well, August, yes, you did. Atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 140,000 killed. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs? What is this book? 1951, U.S.-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964, Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Wait, what did that calendar say? 1985. 1985. It has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here... 1985. 1985. Seems to be. You okay? Here. It's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <coughs> wow. Not a big fan of soda, I take it? Some kind of carbonated beverage? I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji, but I was just a kid. Um... 1985. Am I still in Japan? But in the future? That's what it Who seems to be. I'm Shu Amiguchi, and we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. What is a taxi? So you helped me. Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. I need to know one thing. What year is it? Uh, what? Are you <laughs> knocked into a coma for the last few years? Relax, you didn't get hit that hard. It's still 1985, all right? You haven't missed a day. About that. To be continued. Uh, it didn't hit 30%. Oh, well. I'll do another... I guess we, we can keep on going with Mira until it locks us out. I don't think we can finish his route like we did with Tomy, like just going through the entire thing, but I think we can get fairly far into it, maybe? No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. Alright, we got some new words here. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. But I won't accept this future. Also, Mira is a precious precious boy. That's Good boy. More reason to go back. Like I'll bring the Sentinel with me. Ogata is badass and she is cool. But like Mira, 
He's he's the one we must protect. Protect. But what if it's impossible? Our sweet naive little boy, Mira. He's such a nice guy, honestly. He's kind of like. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back. I don't know. Like, most of these characters have, like, some, like, super convoluted backstory, but Mira's just, like, a nice guy who was drafted for the war. But it could just be a local effect. I should try heading toward the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. Time is flowing normally over there? What is that supposed to mean? loss Japan recovered quite well it seems to have entered a prosperous new era almost too prosperous before the war my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel a story about traveling through time to the future it only ever felt like a far-off fantasy to think it ever become a reality uh oh hello Female students. Looks like the school's still here. Yeah. What? Um, I checked the library for any records of such a weapon. But in all of history, nothing like it has ever existed. Not in the U.S., not anywhere. What was that thing? <laughs> Isn't that... Oh, hell yeah, hey, finally. Miracle? Thank goodness. You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. What are you doing here? I've got to say, you had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. I just... I can't believe you're here, too. I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. But anyway, what have you been up to? Wait, first... Where have you been? A kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors? Tatsuno-san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes. I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Hang on. This is my mess, so I have to figure out how to clean it up. But then again... Hmm. I can't what? bring a boy into the house. Oh, yeah. Granny Tamal went on a trip. So Jurokun should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. Granny Tamal? Uh, sorry. Let me go grab my stuff. Like Tamal Karabe. I'll be right back, so just wait here. Then we'll head How convenient to that she is on a trip. Interesting. Karabe? Karabe. Oh, look. 1945 Karabe house. Looks just the same. Hey! It's Chihiro. Managed to leave quite the dent. Hi, Chihiro. Chihiro? <laughs> you don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. Aww. I'm sure Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. What about you? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. So, how do you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? You must have been playing pretty rough. The bunny was fighting. And it beat up giant goats. Because the goats smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. 
such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I'm sorry, Chihiro chan. My father has quite a short temper. So this is apparently the real Tamao, supposedly. Because the other Eric Iba this was, all my fault. was a fake android version. So this could be the real I one. -chan about my dreams. Your dreams? Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better lately. And I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. Goto, huh? Some foreign medicine with me. As you know. Ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. But they feel so like this... more than just dreams. They're like memories. Sorry, that's my that cat. Making that noise. He's gonna probably try and jump on my head. He's been doing this lately where I'm sitting the in the chair in front of the television and he starts jumping on top of me. I don't really know why. Come here. Get down. Sorry. Um. Turn on that's the, the alarm. That's not good. We ask all citizens to unite as we fortify our air defenses. It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bomb-proof shelter. Come on, Chihiro-chan. We have to go. We're leaving. Jiro-kun, are you home? And we've seen this scene already. Minami -san. But now we're getting Mirakun's perspective. Come on, your granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, Minami san, I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're. Yakushiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way, are you two? Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just, you know, Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Pardon my interruption. I'm here. This house is still standing. There's Who no dent in the wall. You must have My fixed name it. Is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kinda complicated, but yeah. Hmm. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? How do you know Minami san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange. I won't tell anyone you're living with me. That's not... Are you seeing this exchange so I can just fast forward through it? Natsuno-san, is this... It's fine, it's fine. I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. There she goes. Well, this is awkward. Hi. Megumi. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? No, I shouldn't. Your stomach thinks you should. No, that was, uh... I'll go fix you a plate. Sup, Karabe? So... Tamao-san is your grandmother? Is she in good health? Grandma? She's fit as a fiddle. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Shimane? She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you know my grandma? Yes. 
You do, huh? <laughs> so then? He's like, well, uh, how? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, all right. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to okay. use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. There's a projection device where the radio used to be. It's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. Yeah, same house. It burned to the ground. You know, they just, you know, built it. Again. The dent's gone, though. The damage on this pillar is missing. And it wasn't changed when they remodeled. Oh. If this really is the Karabe's house, then it should be right here. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar. Weird. What the? Excuse me? Back on my parents' property, there was a wooden single-story house. It was built in the middle of the 20th century. That humble little place stood for about a hundred years. My grandfather often told me stories about it. Some of his uh -huh. fondest Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Were you just on a call with someone else? With Professor Karabe, yes. We were discussing the layout of the residential zone. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Professor Karabe was born in the 21st century. She's 120 years old, right? Whoa, I that is old. She looked pretty good for her age, to be honest. But Uh, uh. Well, yeah, she is the foremost expert on AI after all. Right. AI. Why does something have to be wrong for me to call? Well, I just so happen to have a really urgent problem. I need a mobile support stat, and I need it from you. Oh, that does sound urgent. Oh. Well, that's interesting, at the very least. And we can unlock his next thing, and we can also unlock Juro's thing. Um, let's take a look at this. See what was updated here. Tamao Karabe, 2188. Chihiro Morimura's mentor, as well as the leading authority on artificial intelligence. Yeah, nanomachine treatments. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. More mirrors on the brought them online. Riverbed. Universal control. There are two terminals that have been analyzed, Sector 1 and Sector 3. Out of the two, the terminal of Sector 3 is the only one that allows access to the mainframe. I see. Huh. Very brief. Sounds just like the song Tommy Kisaragi used to sing in middle school, but arranged in a more 80s style. Yeah. We have the layout of the room. Interesting. Alright, what time are we looking at? I think we'll end it here. Huh, interesting. I tell Mari Mariura's stuff is like appearing right here. This is a year apart. 2188, 2187.
Very, very interesting, if you ask me. And you notice, even, like, the characters that we have finished stories for, there are still, like, some missing events, because they appear in events that are not only, um, their own story. Like, you'll notice, like, right here, Tommy Kishiragi. Like, we played as Tommy Kishiragi for these routes. But... Uh, Ryoko still appeared in them, so it'll actually show wherever any of the characters have appeared in, which is pretty nice. You can see most of Yuki's have already been seen except for this one. Alright. Yep. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And uh, we're going to be doing Karabe's route next time. See ya.